Have you ever imagined what the world's largest snake might look like? Hint, it's not what you see in your local zoo. Welcome to an era long past, a time when the world was a very different place, an epic known as the Paleocene. This was an age that emerged right after the extinction of the dinosaurs around 60 million years ago. Our planet was healing, evolving, and birthing life forms that were unlike anything we see today. Among these creatures there was one that stood out, or should we say slithered out, enter the Titanoboa, a reptilian behemoth that redefined our understanding of what a snake could be. This was no ordinary serpent. The Titanoboa was the true titan of the ancient world. Picture a snake so large, so massive that it could easily dwarf a modern-day school bus. That's right. This serpentine giant stretched up to 40 feet in length and weighed over a ton, making it the largest snake that ever lived. But what kind of world could sustain such a colossal creature? The answer lies in the climate of the Paleocene epoch. During this time, the Earth was a hot, humid hothouse. Tropical rainforests sprawled across the globe providing the perfect habitat for the Titanoboa. This lush environment was teeming with life and offered an abundance of prey, from giant turtles to crocodile-like creatures, allowing the Titanoboa to grow to its impressive size. And where did this gigantic serpent reside? The fossil records point us towards the swamps of modern-day Colombia, where the Titanoboa ruled as an apex predator. Here, in this dense, jungle-like realm, it slithered, hunted, and thrived, embodying the raw, untamed power of nature in the Paleocene era. So the world's largest snake isn't in a zoo, it's in the pages of our planet's history. Intriguing, isn't it? As we delve deeper into the life of the Titanoboa, prepare to be amazed by the wonders of our natural world and the fascinating creatures that once roamed it. Stay tuned, there's much more to uncover about this ancient serpentine titan. It's fascinating to know about the existence of such a creature but how did we come to know about it in the first place? Well, it all started in the year 2009, deep within the lush, tropical rainforests of Colombia. A team of daring scientists led by the intrepid paleontologist Jonathan Block ventured into the heart of the Serajan Formation, one of the world's richest fossil sites. Their mission? To unearth clues about our planet's past. Little did they know they were about to stumble upon a discovery that would send shockwaves through the scientific community. A series of colossal vertebrae, each the size of a dinner plate, emerged from the Earth, revealing the existence of a snake of truly monstrous proportions. This was no ordinary snake. This was the Titanoboa, a creature that had slithered silently through the swamps of prehistoric South America some 58 million years ago. The initial reactions were a blend of disbelief and awe. The size of the creature was mind-boggling, dwarfing every known snake species alive today. The discovery of Titanoboa wasn't just a paleontological jackpot, but it also presented a unique puzzle. How could such a creature exist? What kind of environment could support a snake of such immense size? These were the questions that began to percolate in the minds of the scientists. The Titanoboa forced us to rethink our understanding of the past. Its very existence suggested a world far different from the one we know today, a world of giant creatures and extreme climates. It cast a new light on the ecological dynamics of the past, offering a tantalizing glimpse into an era when the world was a much wilder place. And so, the unearthing of Titanoboa marked a milestone in our quest to understand our planet's history. It was a testament to the power of scientific discovery and an affirmation of the endless mysteries that our world holds. Unearthing a giant from the past was no less than a time travel journey, taking us millions of years back. Discovering the fossils was just the first step, piecing together the Titanoboa was the real puzzle. This colossal prehistoric serpent, the largest that ever slithered on Earth, was a true marvel of nature, and its reconstruction was no less than a Herculean task. From the remains excavated, scientists had to embark on a journey of imagination and rigorous analysis. Each fossil fragment was a piece of an intricate puzzle, a tale from the distant past waiting to be retold. The task was daunting, yes, but our scientists, driven by curiosity and armed with the power of modern technology, were more than up for the challenge. The first hurdle was to determine the Titanoboa's size. By studying the vertebrae and comparing them with modern relatives, scientists estimated this gargantuan snake to have been around 42 feet long, weighing over a ton. That's as long as a school bus and as heavy as a small car. Next came the arduous task of recreating the Titanoboa's physical appearance. 
This was done by studying the fossilized scales, which allowed scientists to surmise the texture and pattern of the snake's skin. They concluded that it likely had a similar appearance to modern boa constrictors, but with a skin pattern more akin to a reticulated python. But the titanoboa's physical attributes were just part of the puzzle. The real challenge was to understand its behavior and its environment. By studying the fossils of other creatures and plants found alongside the titanoboa, scientists were able to paint a picture of the ecosystem in which it lived. A warm and humid world, with lush rainforests and vast swamps. The process of piecing together the titanoboa was a testament to human ingenuity, patience, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. It was a complex jigsaw puzzle, with pieces scattered across time and space. Each fragment brought us closer to understanding this magnificent creature and the world it once ruled. Recreating the Titanoboa was like solving a complex jigsaw puzzle with pieces buried in time. Indeed, we've come a long way in uncovering the secrets of the Titanoboa. But as with all scientific endeavors, every answer only leads to more questions, and our journey into the past continues. With the Titanoboa pieced together, let's delve into its life and times. The Titanoboa, a slithering giant that lived approximately 60 million years ago in the Paleocene epoch, led a life as intriguing as its size. Based on scientific research and fossil evidence, we've pieced together a captivating snapshot of its lifestyle and habits. Imagine a world teeming with lush rainforests, the air, thick and warm, a perfect habitat for cold-blooded creatures. In this primordial world, Titanoboa reigned supreme. With a length of up to 42 feet and weighing over a ton, it was the apex predator of its time. The Titanoboa's diet mostly comprised of large aquatic prey, its size indicates it could have consumed crocodiles and even giant turtles. And how did such a gigantic creature hunt? Well, it's believed to have been an ambush predator, lying in wait for its prey and then striking with lightning speed. Once it had its prey in its mighty grip it would constrict, squeezing the life out of its unfortunate victim. Interestingly, the Titanoboa was not venomous. Instead it relied on its immense size and strength to overpower its prey. Its body was so massive that it's believed to have spent a great deal of time in water, which supported its weight, making movement easier. The Titanoboa's colossal size also suggests that the Earth's climate was much warmer than today. The tropical conditions would have allowed for such an enormous cold-blooded creature to thrive. But the Titanoboa was not just a fearsome predator. It was also an essential part of its ecosystem. By preying on large aquatic creatures, it maintained a balance in its environment, controlling the population of its prey species. Indeed, the Titanoboa's life was fascinating. It was a creature of immense size and power, a testament to the extraordinary biodiversity of our planet's past. Its existence offers us a glimpse into a bygone era, a time when the world was vastly different from what we know today. The life of the Titanoboa as we understand it paints a vivid picture of a time when giants roamed the Earth. Science never stops exploring and the same goes for our understanding of the Titanoboa. Indeed, the mysteries of this prehistoric serpent continue to unravel, shedding new light on life as it was millions of years ago. The latest research findings have certainly sparked a renewed interest in this colossal creature. Recent studies have suggested that the Titanoboa could have reached lengths of up to 50 feet, that's longer than a school bus and makes it the largest snake to have ever lived. It's fascinating to imagine a world where such a beast prowled the swamps and rivers. An important part of this research focuses on the Titanoboa's diet. Scientists believe that this giant snake dined on crocodiles and turtles based on the size and strength of its jaw. However, some theories suggest that the Titanoboa might have been a scavenger, feeding on the remains of other prehistoric creatures. The truth is, we're still not quite sure. The study of the Titanoboa also offers valuable insights into the Earth's climate during its reign. The size of the Titanoboa indicates a warmer climate as larger reptiles require higher temperatures to survive. This has led researchers to conclude that the Earth was much hotter during the Paleocene epoch, with average temperatures possibly 10 degrees higher than today. This information is not just intriguing, it's also incredibly relevant. As we grapple with the reality of climate change, understanding the Earth's past climates can help us predict what our future might look like. Could we be headed for a world where giant reptiles roam once more? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, the Titanoboa is more than just a relic of the past, it's a window into a world long gone and a testament to the incredible diversity and adaptability of life on Earth. 
As we continue to explore the Titanoboa we are not just uncovering the secrets of the past but also opening doors to understanding our future. The Titanoboa may have been a titan of its time but its legacy continues to shape and inform ours.